in the book of Colossians in the Bible, tells us about Jesus Christ. He is the image of the invisible God. He is the image of God, Jesus Christ. The firstborn over all creation. For by Him, for by Jesus, all things were created. Things in heaven and on earth. Jesus created the angels in heaven. Created whatever that is in heaven with God. All things, for by Him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. Jesus created invisible spirits. Whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created by Him and for Him. All things were created by Jesus and for Jesus. He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. It's because of Jesus Christ. The whole world, the whole earth goes round. All things hold together because of Jesus Christ. And He is the head of the body, the church. Okay, And He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead so that in everything he might have the supremacy. Jesus is the head of the body, the church. He's the first one among the dead. And in everything he is supreme. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things. Whether things on earth or things in heaven, by marking, sorry, by making peace through His blood shed on the cross. God sent His image, Jesus Christ, to die for us on the cross so that we may be re re reconciled and redeemed to God if we ask Him to be to forgive us and to be our Lord and Savior. Ask Jesus to be our Lord and Savior and He will redeem you. Once you were alienated from God, and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior, but now He has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in His sight, without blemish and free from accusation. Once you are forgiven by God, you are without blemish and free from accusation. You are made a holy person. If you continue in your faith, establish and firm, not move from the hope held out in the gospel. This is the gospel that you heard and that has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven and of which I, Paul, have become a servant. So this is the gospel of Jesus. Jesus has died for your sins. You accept him and you ask him to forgive your sins. You'll be made a holy person. And you'll be a redeemed person and you'll be with Jesus. God created you to be with Him. We have sinned. That's why Jesus was sent to redeem us. Give your life to Jesus and you will be redeemed back to God. See you all on my next video. Thank you.